Toda Barak Yah Shabbat. That is, thank you and bless Yah Sabbath. Thank you for tuning in to the Anthothea Van Yah Sabbath Hour. I am your host, Anthothea Van Yah El Ali Bebe. Today's date is July the 8th. 2017. Today we're going to have an open forum, but before we get started, we'd like to take the time out to say a prayer. So if we can have a moment of silence so that we can say a prayer. Heavenly Father of Van Maya, we pray and give thanks and honor for your eternal and holy name, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we pray that you would be with each of us as we go throughout this day, as we go throughout this time that you have allotted us here on this earth. And we pray that the speakers of the word will have the word that you will give them to deliver to us this day. And we pray that you will give the hearers of the word and ear to hear, and eye to perceive, and a heart to understand that which is given and that which is true, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we pray and ask these things in your son's Yom Ruach, eternal name. Amen. Take out your Bible. Blow the dust off of it. Open it up. And let's see how Yah will direct us today. Okay, we are moving closer and closer to that appointed time, that appointed time that our Heavenly Father has ordained from the foundation of the earth. And he has ordained several things. And the things that has been ordained, you can find throughout the Bible. The prophets of the Bible spoke of these things. And the different dreams that these patriarchs had typifies some of the things that were to come to pass. And we can know for a surety, we can know for sure that these things will come to pass. Now, there's a lot of people that don't want to accept these truths because they cannot see or they don't know of the things that are to come to pass. So this caused people to worry, cause people to think things are not going to happen. But remember, our Heavenly Father has not slack concerning his promises. We know that there is a will that our Heavenly Father has for mankind and for the Morlanian Yisraelites. 
because we have to understand that the Bible, the Bible is speaking of the moorland in Israel Ice. We can look in John. John three sixteen. John three sixteen it reads. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Now we got to understand that Everlasting life. Now we know that a spirit cannot die. We know that a spirit is eternal. But the scripture said, fear not him that can destroy the body. Fear him that can destroy the body and the soul. And this is who we have to fear. Human beings can kill the body But our Heavenly Father, He can kill the soul. And the soul tends to be that spirit that is in man. Now, we know that a spirit cannot die, is a eternal substance. So, our Heavenly Father have made a place for these particular spirits. The spirit, there is a spirit that is loving, obedient, and in compliance with our Heavenly Father and his laws as well as his words. And then you have a spirit or a mind that is against our Heavenly Father, His words, and His laws. Now, each of these spirits can live forever. But the question is, where will they live? Will they live in peace, love, harmony, or will they live in purgatory, in a place of torment, eternal torment? Not where you're getting used to it, 
Because no quick you get used to one thing, here come a new thing that will torment you. And I'm sure my Heavenly Father has a lot of things that can torment man. If not our Heavenly Father, I'm sure Satan the devil has the things that can torment man throughout eternity. So we have to decide for ourselves which way will we go? Who will we follow? In John 8, 44, it tells us John eight forty four, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in truth, because when he speaketh. Abode is not in truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Now, this is telling you who is following who. This is a simple way to tell you what spirit one is in. Now, we know that there's a lot of people out here that love to make up lies. We know there's a lot of people out here that follow lies. So we have to come to the truth. We know that the name of Things are called one thing, and the thing that they are called is what they are, and if one were to call it by another name, that would be a falsehood bearing false witness. So we have to understand that in Exodus, Exodus 20, Exodus 20, and in verse Let's see, verse 16. In verse 16, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. 
thy neighbor name is Jones. If you call him Johnson, that is bearing false witness. You are barbaring false witness against thy neighbor. And this is what happens. This is what happens when one's call their neighbor by a false name that is not theirs. Now the Romans and the rest of the world has been calling the Morlanian Israelites by their wrong name. They have stipulated and put upon the Morlanian Israelites the titles and the names of Negroes, colored peoples, African Americans, black, and Hebrew Israelites. All those names are false names. Those names are titles. Well, I don't know what Israel is, Israel like. Uh, Hebrew is a foreigner, so that is a title. But Israel, that is, that is nothing, really. That's a name that was made up. Because that is not the name that the angel that had wrestled with Jacob, Jacob, you, you all know him by Jacob. But his uh, holy name and real name is Jacob. He, his name was not called Israel. It was is Yael. And this is what you have to come to understand these days. Because you got to know the truth. Because the truth will set you free. As you can read in John 8.32. So, you have to come out of Satan's grips, grasp. He has uh, hold and deceived the whole world, as you can read in Revelation 12 and verse 9. And that great dragon was cast out into the earth, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, and his angels were cast out with him. So, the angels and Satan was cast down to the earth. And he is still in this earth today. You can tell by the evil, by the evil rebellion, by the by the evil lies that the people are constantly 
um, spreading. This is how you can determine that man of sin. In Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians, and in verse, let's see, Second Thessalonians. Right, that's not it. Let's see, Second Thessalonians. And that's Peter, Hebrews, oh that's Hebrews. Let's see, where is Thessalonians? That's Ephesians. Timothy should be right around Timothy. There we go, right before Timothy. Second Thessalonians. And in verse 3. He reads, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition so these things had to come to pass unless that man be revealed the son of perdition. That man is that mind. That mind, that evil mind that is in man has to be revealed. And the mind has been revealed. Because now we know what that devil or that evil, the son of perdition, we know what and who he is now. He is an evil mind. And this evil mind is in a lot of people. The deception or the lies because as it is written in uh, Revelation 12 and in verse nine that the devil has deceived the whole world. And there is a great deception out here. And there's a lot of people that is pushing and accepting and bringing that lie, those wicked and evil concepts and ideas out here. Yes, the devil would love to see a nuclear war out here because he knows that a lot of 
people, the majority of the people, have not accepted the truth as to who our Heavenly Father is, who his people are. There's a lot of things that the our Heavenly Father has written in the book and a lot of people have not accepted those truths our Heavenly Father word because that is what we have to do. We have to believe in the gospel. In Mark, Mark, and in chapter 1, chapter 1, and in verse Let's see, verse 14, you read, now after that John was put in prison, Yahshua came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of Yah. And saying, the time is at hand. The time is fulfilled. And the kingdom of Yah is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Believe the gospel. And this is what we have to do. We have to believe. Now, those that don't believe, there's a lot of people believe in themselves. A lot of people believe that they can do this, that all the power is in their hands, and they will be judged for their works. That is what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to explain to themselves because that's who they are believing in and they're going to have to say to themselves but that's not what is real but the people that believe it's real they're going to have to save themselves and if they believe in themselves so much, they should not believe the gospel. But our Heavenly Father and Elder Brother He told us to believe the gospel. And that gospel is what he said. He came preaching the gospel of the kingdom of our Heavenly Father. And you have a lot of people that do not believe in the Bible, do not believe in our Heavenly Father. They believe in themselves rather than the Heavenly Father. They don't believe in the words of our Heavenly Father because the words of our Heavenly Father is the Bible, is in the Bible. So we have to understand that 
Satan has these people in this world like totally confused. The devil is the author of confusion. So he has the people confused and there are even some people that want to call themselves gay. They are confused. They are confused about their identity as well as these other people that want to say and explain that they are their own power, destiny, and Lord, and all of that. They are just as confused. So... You can't condemn them, and you can't condemn the gay people, because if that's what they believe, they are basically in the same bag, the same racket as any other person or people that are confused so we have to understand that our heavenly father he has showed us and given us a light to get us out of that confusion and that light is the beginning to understand is to begin to understand is to know the truth and that truth is that our heavenly father is going to set up a kingdom. He has a kingdom. He has a kingdom where his throne is that is above the other three heavens. And he is going to expand. Well, our, everything is his kingdom anyway, because he created it, he created everything, and everything is our heavenly fathers. Whether you believe it or not, we are, our heavenly father is not going to bow down to man's thoughts or man's way of thinking. Our Heavenly Father is not going to make himself less to appease human beings. So if man do not understand or he missed the truth, because we got to remember that our Heavenly Father, he destroyed the whole world. And all mankind that was on it. So, he, our Heavenly Father, is not that excited about man, about human beings. Because they are liars, they are cheaters, wicked and evil. They, they are human. And for him to see a human being
messing up or or just uh, proving truth, justice, and what is right has our Heavenly Father ready to repent of the things that he would want to do to us. So when you read in John 3.16 that our Heavenly Father so loved the world, let's not get it mixed up. Because our Heavenly Father destroyed this world because of man. So when you say, when he, when that scripture says he so loved the world, we have to get it right. We have to understand which world. Because if our Heavenly Father destroyed the world, and he will be ready to destroy it again now. So you will we want to say that uh our Heavenly Father so loved the world. He loved the gay world, he loved these uh the dope world, you know, there's a lot of kinds of worlds out here. So you cannot say that he so loved the world. There's a world of homongering. You got males and females just out there trying to get sex. You know, that's all on their mind. Wants to have sex, sex, sex. Who can uh, they find and who can they see and who wants to have and do sex. And that's another world. And then there are so many worlds in this, on this earth. So you have to ask, what world was that scripture speaking of? So when you understand what world that was speaking of, then you can say that our heavenly father so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And all those that call upon his name shall have everlasting life. But that is those who call upon his name and have not bailed and who have not bowed down and have succumbed to this wicked and evil deception of the devil and Satan. And the devil and Satan has, they have, indeed deceived the world and the scripture said it and we know it because as I said the world is believing lies the deception and if you are believing that deception Loving that deception, spreading and speaking and living that deception, you are of your father, the devil. And the world of the devil, our heavenly father, do not love. So we cannot say he so loved the world. Not everything in the world, and not everybody. So, when one wants to call themselves by a name that is not theirs, 
that is bearing false witness upon another human being. So if you are calling Moralanian, Israelites, Hebrew Israelites, that is bearing false witness. If you are calling Moralanian, Israelites, African Americans, you are bearing false witness. If you are calling Moralanian Israelites Negroes, you are bearing false witness upon thy neighbor. And if you are calling them black, colored, brown, orange, or any other color, you are bearing false witness upon thy neighbor, the Moralanian Israelites. So you have to come out of that. That's the first thing. That's if you want to be in that world that our Heavenly Father so loved. Because our Heavenly Father does not love a liar. Our Heavenly Father does not love a liar. So we have to step back and examine ourselves. Have to step back and let it be known what the truth is because as it reads in John eight thirty two, know the truth and the truth will make you free. And this is what we are attempting to do. Be free. Be free from the lies that Satan has confused us with. Be free from the deception of those lies. And we have to believe that, as Joshua said in Mark 14 and 15, believe the gospel, the gospel of the kingdom. Our Heavenly Father is going to set up a kingdom. And those secret organizations, they understand that. The mass, the people of this world, most of the people, the ignorant people that are not familiar with the Bible and its truths, they don't know it. They are ignorant of it. But these secret organizations know that the time is at hand and they are preparing for such a well let me say the devil and Satan the one they call Lucifer they are the ones that is going to be 
directing this war because they are going to get into certain people's minds and cause them to destroy the world. Well, not to totally destroy it, because the earth is going to be here. And when we're speaking of the world, we're talking about the world that, well, there are so many, there are a lot of worlds out here. So we're talking about which world? Because the world is a social gathering and everybody that is gathered in that particular ideology or belief and trust that is a world because as I said you have a gay world you have a homemonger world you have all types of worlds. You have a sports world, an entertainment world. There are whole, there are several different types of worlds. But we have to ask ourselves, what world is it speaking of when it says the end of the world? And that is the end of the world of evil, wickedness, the lies, and all of those things that oppose our Heavenly Father. So, again, I tell you, who or what side are you going to choose? It is choosing season. It is time to choose. It is time to choose what and who you will serve. You will either serve your father, the devil, and the most of your father ye you will do. And he's the father of lies, evil, wickedness, and all of that is not becoming of our Heavenly Fathers. Or either you will serve and do the will of our Heavenly Father, keep His words of this Holy Bible, and you will do and obey and live forever in peace and harmony it's your choice it is your choice you are the master of your choices now that is one thing that you are and master of and whether these people know it or not when they say that they are their own superior being I don't even know what they be saying really but that is basically and saying is that they have that free will. They have the free will to choose, and that is true. They have the free will to choose if they're going to follow Satan or follow our Heavenly Father. whether they know the consequences or the rewards is 
irreverent. It's not irreverent, but it is a matter of what they believe. If they believe that they are their own, well, they're, you know, they're definitely the master of their own destiny. And because they have that ability and freedom of free will, they can make a decision on what they want to do. They could do right or they could do wrong. It is their decision. From that perspective, yes, they are the master of their own destiny. And that is the question. What and who side are you going to choose? Because if our Heavenly Father so loved the world, he did not give up his son for those wicked and evil people. He gave his life up for those who are willing to repent, who is willing to change their minds, because in Romans 12 and verse 2, it tells us, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your minds. By the renewing of your mind, you have to renew your mind that ye may prove that which is acceptable and perfect will of our Heavenly Father. We have to prove, search, and find out what it is our Heavenly Father will or what he want, what our Heavenly Father wants. We just don't accept and go with any concept or idea just because some man wrote it down in a book. Yes, the Bible, human beings wrote it. Lots of animals and dogs did not write it. Plants did not write it. Because plants, animals, dogs, and rocks, they do not have the capacity to think, write, or speak. They do not have the power or the spirits of the words in them. So, yes, a human being had to write those words in the Holy Bible. And in Numbers, number 12, it tells us 12 and uh, verse 6. It tells us that here, let's turn to it. Number 12. And in verse... Six. And it reads... I see. I can't see... Verse 6, and he said, Hear now my word. Is there be a prophet among you? 
I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak to him in a dream. So this is what happened to the prophet. If there was a prophet among Israel, her heavenly father would come to him in a vision or speak to him in a dream. Now, there are a lot of people that think they know the Bible, they want to interpret these words themselves because our Heavenly Father don't know what he wants to say. So they assume. So they want to interpret these words from a metaphoric or symbolic, or uh, some other esoteric suggested understanding of these words, prophetic, you know, they want to make these words say what they want them to say. Because our Heavenly Father didn't know how to express his words in the languages that a man was able to understand. But it tells us in Isaiah 28 and verse 9 that who shall he make to understand knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weighing from the milk and drawn from the breast. Or line upon line. And line upon line. Precepts upon precepts. Precepts upon precepts. Here a little and there a little. That is the way that you have to understand the Bible. Not understand it in a metaphoric sense. Not understand it in a symbolic sense. Even though some of those scriptures were prophecies for a future time and a future event. So we have to understand that our Heavenly Father, who created the universe and everything, He gives His blessings, His power, His understanding to them that are able to understand His doctrine. And those who cannot, they will make up their own interpretation of the Bible. So we have to understand that it is not, the Bible is not. So this is what we have to do. So, this is Anthotia Vanya El Alivebe.